welcome friend to this session of uh, builder patterns uh, in this session we will try to understand what is basically builder patterns we will look into uh, we will look into the definition of the same we will also make a simple code walk through and try to understand that how it can be implemented practically so first thing is that you know builder patterns falls into the category of creational patterns uh, that is one of the important things uh, there are times in projects you know that the the construction process of object is very complex and what we want is that we want to separate the representation from the construction means what for instance that you know it, it's possible that you know you want uh, you have two types of invoice objects one is invoice object with taxes and one is invoice object without taxes and the construction process for both these invoice objects are complex now what you want is that you know you want that the representation the construction process that is you know the construction process for constructing an invoice object with tax and for construction constructing an invoice object without tax you want to separate that from the representations so at that moment you will need builder patterns so in short you should ask yourself a question that is my construction process complex first thing second do i need to uh, separate the representation from the construction if yes then builder pattern is for your need so builder pattern is useful when the construction process of the object is very complex and you want to separate the construction process from the representation Let's look into one of our very practical examples. Um, uh, it's possible, you know, like for example, if you uh, you know you can have a tea uh, without sugar. This is a very uh, live example which I want to show you, and so that you know after that you could you can understand and map the same with software. So one is that you know you want to have a tea with sugar, and you can have a tea without milk. These are two types of representation, the final outputs. Okay, to construct them, the process is very much similar. now what you want is that you want that this construction process should be completely decoupled from the representation so this is where design pattern comes into use so means what here's a construction process in order to build a tea without sugar you will say okay start a tea boil a water put tea bag and that's it you have your tea without sugar but if you want to uh, do a tea without if you want to make a tea without a, without with a milk without a milk i'm sorry then start tea process build boil water put tea bags put sugar put milk there are some extra process involved in addition to the common process for both of them okay so means what the same construction process is making different type of representations this is where you would like to use uh, builder patterns you know you want to separate the out final output of the object and you want to separate these this complex construction process needed to create this type of object in order to achieve the decoupling of the construction process from the representation uh, in builder pattern uh, the builder pattern divides them into three sections first is the builder section this is where all your construction processes uh, construction process is centralized so you know for for instance you know as we said you know tea without sugar you have a construction process here tea with sugar you have a construction uh, you have a builder for it i'm sorry you have a builder for it so you have different builders here what director does is the second section is a director what director does is basically it uh, it takes all the it takes the construction process of the builder and then starts to execute them in sequence so you can say director defines the sequence or we can say director is actually the guy who will use the builder uh, builder process uh, you will you will take the individual part of the builder and start defining uh, defining the steps to make the object and product is a final output final output so these are the three sections uh, needed when you need to define a builder pattern let's try to understand this with a software example uh, here's you know i'm 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 representing a simple example where my reports needs to be either be displayed in excel format or it has to be dis displayed in pdf format so i can say that i have two types of uh, representation for my report and then in order to construct this two objects i need to do some kind of uh, i need to execute some steps like i need to create a new report i need to set a report pdf uh, set the report type set the report header set the report footer and then finally get the report so this is my construction process so what you can say is that if you if i really look at the final output i have one a pdf format then i have one a excel format okay so these are my two different representations but and here is my construction so you know it's a, it's the same thing 
means I mean to say this the figure at the left hand side is a more scattery one but at the right hand side what I have done is that you know I have broken the same thing into constructions and representations so you know that makes our logic more clear here is the full full code of what I have discussed for the report PDF so what I have done is that I have defined two builders one is a report PDF builder and one is a report Excel builder okay with all the steps necessary to create my report in both of them so these are my two classes then I have my director what it does is that it defines the sequence sequence for uh, it defines the sequence for all this uh, all the uh, steps uh, from the builder so for example create new report set report type so it will use uh, you know set report type set report header so set report header in short my director is like uh, taking the builder object and executing them step by step you know so it defines a sequence uh, for my construction process it takes a actually a report builder object depending on that report builder object it actually calls the sequence now if you look at my client code which I've uh, which I've shown at the left hand side at the top left hand side what I need to do if I need a report PDF okay if I need a report PDF or uh, a PDF representation what I need to do is that I need to create a report PDF object say the director please give me report PDF and that's it if I want to Excel create a report Excel object pass it to the uh, pass it to the director and say please give me the uh, construction what we'll do is that you know we will make a simple code walkthrough for this so it's the same code which I've discussed so here's my uh, here's my builders so my report builder with all my steps two report builders one is a report Excel and report PDF and second is my director which actually defines my steps my sequences of how my how my uh, object should be created you know this can be more complicated if you go to real projects the sequences can change and different representation of objects can be made okay and finally is my product class that is my report which actually uh, displays how this report should be looking from the client perspective and here's my client code you know so what I do is that basically I create a report PDF object pass it to the director and that's it my report PDF is generated I create a report Excel object pass it to the director and my, my report is generated in PDF format so my representation is separated from the construction my director takes, takes, takes care of my construction process and my report PDF or I can say you know my report PDF defines what type of final representation I want so that's what uh, is all design is all builder pattern all about you know it's all about separating the uh, construction process from the representation whenever you are, whenever you are looking at a project and you want to implement builder pattern one of the very essential thing you should ask is you know that is my construction process complex if your construction process is not complex for object don't even think about using builder patterns because probably just a simple uh, new keyword or you know probably just a simple factory can work for it so ask two questions if you want to use builder pattern first thing is my process complex second do I need to uh, decouple my representations from my uh, construction process means do I have multiple representation from the same construction process if yes then use builder pattern 